think that if Vince had it to do over, he wouldn't have bought WCW, he wouldn't have bought his competition. I think it had more to do with him being able to affirmatively end the ratings war and be able to go out, be Victor, than it was about what will this do to the landscape of the business for the next 25 years. And the reason yeah. why I say that is I think that he's become smarter because of it. And my evidence of that, if you will, is when you saw these rounds of layoffs and cuts and stuff that WWE makes, mm -hmm. and they go, I can't believe they got rid of somebody like a Bray Wyatt, you know, or, right, right. or whoever it is, right? And people are going, what is Vince thinking? Is he losing his mind? And why is he cutting these people? Why is he cutting that people? I think Vince is not as worried as he was during the height of the ratings war of somebody jumping ship to the quote unquote competition as he was before, if he's not using them. And the reason why is because I think you see from a business perspective, what hurt the business more than anything else was now you suddenly didn't have any competition anymore. Yeah. You know, part of what stop watching. interest is competition, right? It's easier mm -hmm. for you to promote Pizza Hut when you've got top, you got uh, Domino's to kind of go head to head again. It's hard to to argue for Coke versus Pepsi or anything else like that, right? Or down yeah. here in the South, you got Waffle House and you got Huddle House. Right? CBS go and Walgreens, brother. Yeah. So you know, yeah, competition has a tendency to breed interest. What it also does is is it forces everybody to have to work a little bit harder and get a little bit better. And I think he's smart enough to recognize and realize that, you know what, if we take someone like, for lack of a better way of, uh, of someone else to pluck out of thin air, if take someone like a Cody Rhodes, and you say, we really don't, don't know how to utilize him properly and make him main event star. Let him go. Let's see what he does. If he has talent, if he has ability, if he has what we think he has, he he is truly Dusty Rhodes' son, then he's going to rise to the top of the food chain. He certainly did that, and Vince knows that he has the ability and the means and the resources to come back in and pluck that talent back up after it's been cultivated in a different ground, right? Yes. Because you can get stagnant as well. If you, We talked about the uh, performance center down there. You know, mm -hmm. one of the knocks against that is it's difficult for everybody not to come out looking like they're sharing similar looks and similar style and similar ring gear and similar presence because they're training together every day. Of course, they're going to influence one another that way. When you take someone out of that environment and you send them over here, or maybe they find a niche for themselves in Japan, or maybe they go over to Germany and they have a good run in Germany. They pick up these little things, or maybe they're from the South, so they're wrestling the independent scene predominantly in front of a Southern crowd, or maybe they're from the Midwest and they're wrestling, which is a totally different style, predominantly in front of the Midwestern crowd, or maybe Northeastern. All these things cause you to evolve and learn a few tricks here and there that get sprinkled into who you are. And when Vince brings you back in, you're a more well-rounded talent than you were before. And he's got a better product because of it than he had before. Yes, dude. <laughs> Man. Everybody wins in that. Everybody That's a great theory. Wins. You said that really well. Yeah. Educate. If you like that clip, check out the entire episode at jpdub.com and find more killer content from your homies at Juice Pro Wrestling.